Hey everyone, it's Adam, also known as Depthor, and I'm going to show you how to stake your edgeware. So first you go to polkadot.js.org slash apps, link is in the description. And to go to the edgeware network, click up here, go to live networks, edgeware, and switch. And before we get too far into staking, we're just going to go into accounts. So I have two accounts set up with some edge. Uh, so we recommend have using two accounts. You have your stash and your controller account. Uh, you can use one account for both, but it is not recommended. So we're going to go to networks and then staking. And then you'll see a bunch of information on the top. So this is, you know, about validators. This is how many we have and how many are waiting in line, how many people are nominating. And here's all the list of all the validators. So we're going to go to account actions. Okay, so we're going to click on nominators and we're going to choose the appropriate accounts. So this is the stash account, this will be the controller account. And what you type in here is how much you want to stake. So I'm just going to say 50. You shouldn't stake everything you have in your wallet or address. And then you have a couple options. So this one, uh, the amount that you uh, get in return will be staked automatically. And the extra edge that you get uh, will not be staked. Uh, so it's up to you if you want to keep restaking your earnings or just put them to the side. I'm going to restake mine. I'm going to click Next. And this is where you kind of choose uh, the validators you want to support. Uh, do not uh, trust what I'm doing. So you can, like I'm just picking random ones. It doesn't really matter. I don't want to influence people. So you can choose up to 16. It's uh, recommended that you pick several of them. Uh, but do your homework. I'll leave a link in the description to a really good video that explains uh, how to pick good validators. So I'm going to click here, bond and nominate. Click sign and submit. You'll be prompted to put in your password and you'll sign the transaction. All right, great. It went through. So this is your stash account here. Uh, so it's staking now and you can click here and to, if you want to stop, you can click stop staking and you can unbond your funds and then you can bond more if you want to stake more. So this is kind of where you edit uh, your stash account. So that's basically how you stake on Edgeware. I'll leave some video resources that goes more into depth on nominated proof of stake and how to choose a nominator. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow us on Twitter and join our Discord server. Links are in the description.